All right, so I've actually made this video a couple of times over the years, but the last one was in 2021, which was over two years ago. And that means that times have changed and so have the best world tournament teams. So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys a full breakdown of what I believe is the current best world tournament team to run, to maximize your points and allow you to collect those rewards as quickly as possible. And uh, yeah, with that said, let's jump right into it. I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet. In my opinion, there are three main things to keep in mind when building your world tournament team. Number one, you want a, a leader that is all types, or at least extreme based on the units you bring. And the best current leader to me is the Fizz LR Captain Ginyu because he provides all types, key plus three, HP, attack, and defense, plus 120%. So it gives you a lot of flexibility in your team building. And on top of that, he also provides a uh, key plus three and attack and defense plus 30% to all allies. So he's also boosting your other attackers. Now, if you guys don't have this Ginyu, a good substitute could be the uh, Int LR Goku from Super Battle Road. Uh, let me see this guy right here because he provides the same leader skill key plus three attack and defense plus 120 percent for all types or you can also use the uh, fizz lr kid gohan who has the same leader skill now the advantage of the ginyu over the goku and the gohan is that he does have that all type support so i do think he is the best option but the other two are good as well and uh, obviously, if you don't have any of these three and you can't currently get them, then just use whatever, you know, all types lead you have uh, that's available to you at the moment, right? So that is number one. Number two, you want a full LR team like the one I have right here. And the reason for that is because if you have a team of all LRs, it allows you to maximize the number of points you get for every single run in the world tournaments compared to having a team with lower rarity characters like URs, SSRs, and SRs. I believe someone did a test where they ran a team with uh, mostly URs and then another team with all LRs and they got about, I can't remember the exact number, but it was like 15 to 20k more points for each run. And that doesn't seem like a lot, but over the course of like, 20 to 30 world tournament runs, it definitely adds up, right? So uh, I do think having a full LR team is ideal. Although if you wanted to, you could do something like this. And this was one of the older world tournament teams I ran with the Jocko and Chiaotzu. And in case you guys don't know what they do, both Jocko and Chiaotzu have the ability to stun the entire enemy team for one turn when they appear on rotation. So you don't have to use an item like a Ghost Usher or a King Yama or something like that. And uh, you also don't have to worry about dying, right? So they're still okay to bring, but you have to keep in mind that if you bring them, you're not gonna be getting as many points as uh, a full LR team, right? So that is the second thing. And lastly, and I think this is pretty obvious, you want a full attack all team. And ideally it's a full attack all LR team like this one right here. So we got the uh, LR Broly, who is, in my opinion, still the best attack all unit in the game just because he hits incredibly, incredibly hard. And he's also launching a second guaranteed super. So for the most part, uh, you're gonna be clearing the entire enemy team with no issues, unless they have like a really good AGL uh, unit and you don't get crits then he might leave someone alive, but it's very, very rare where an LR Broly, especially one that's extremely awakened, uh, doesn't clear the enemy team by himself, right? So he is a must if you have him. And then we have the Fizz LR Cell, another very hard hitting attack all unit. He actually wasn't as viable before the extremely awakening because his damage was not great, right? But now with that easy A, he hits very hard. So definitely a great addition and then from there we have the tech giant ape vegeta 
Uh, my only issue with him is that you need to get the 18 key to get his attack all super, which sometimes might be a little bit hard if you don't use items. So uh, he's good when you get that 18 key, but uh, maybe sometimes you'll miss it, right? So uh, keep that in mind. And then we have the uh, Nappa and Vegeta, another good attack all unit. And finally, we have this Fizz uh, Krillin. And uh, just like the Broly, he obviously doesn't hit as hard, but he does some good damage with his attack all super. And he also gets additional supers. So in case the first super doesn't clear the enemy field, Ideally, the second super will, and he also gets stunned, so um, if you don't kill everyone, then there's a decent chance he at least stuns them so that they can't attack you and kill you. And my favorite part about this Krillin is that he is free to play, so everybody is able to get him, as opposed to, you know, everyone else on this team who is uh, summonable, right? Except for the Ginyu, of course. So that is my version of the ideal attack all team. Of course, I know that not everyone has access to all of these units. If you want to check which uh, attack all units you have, just go to your team and go to skill effect and then choose super attack and all target super attack. And you'll see which units you have that are uh, attack all or AOE units, right? So some other good options, of course, would be the Fizz uh, Broly from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. Uh, you can also use the Fizz Raditz. I know he's a meme, but he's actually a pretty solid attack all option. And then we also, of course, have the uh, AGL Majin Vegeta. You do need his 18 key, so uh, it might be a little bit hard to get that sometimes if you don't use items. Uh, we have, you know, the STR Piccolo, who hits pretty hard for a TUR. We have uh, the Chow Man, who uh, does hurt you with a super attack, but he does some really good damage as well. And then uh, this STR Fat Boo is good. Uh, this Tech Maja Vegeta is good. So you do have some options. Once again, you want to bring LRs because that maximizes your points. But if you don't have LRs, and I think bringing some TUR attack all units is still good, right? So um, that is basically the video, guys. Uh, oh, one last thing I want to say is that this is specific to global because we are missing some units from the JP side. And I would imagine that on JP, you would probably bring the new LR Super Boo because he hits hard and he does attack all as well. But uh, that's not available on global at the moment, right? So... Just a quick recap, three basic concepts when it comes to assembling your ideal world tournament team. Number one, bring a all types leader or an extreme leader if you are running all extreme. Number two, uh, bring all LRs if possible for the maximum number of points per run. And number three, bring all attack all units like this team right here and you should be good to go. So. Uh, that's basically it guys. It's kind of impressive actually that SDR LR Broly is still to this day the king of world tournament. He's mad old, but he's absolutely timeless and I can never see myself running world tournament without this guy. So uh, anyways, with all that said guys, that is the video. Hopefully it helped you a little bit in assembling your world tournament team and uh, good luck with your runs. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out